based on a graphic novel um, by Phoebe Gleckner. And I first adapted it into a stage play, which I did in New York in 2010. And then basically since then, I've been working on adapting it into a film. So it's, it's been a huge portion of my life has been dedicated to this, mo this story and this character who I'm so in love with and into telling her story and giving her a voice. Um, it's set in the 70s in San Francisco and Minnie's a 15 year old kind of budding artist um, who falls in love or loses her virginity to her mother's boyfriend who Alex plays, a guy called Monroe. Hello. And it's um, kind of like a coming of age story but against the backdrop of her like navigating her way through this affair and discovering her sexuality and what she's about. We have a mutual friend and he, uh, he said like I, uh, my friend is, uh, has this script and y you know, she wants you to read it. Um, and I was, I just fell in love with the script. And, um, and I told Jack, our friend, that I wanted to meet Mari. And, um, and it, like, like you mentioned, like she'd been, Mari had been, uh, this had been her baby for eight years. Um, so it was, just, it was just like quite lovely meeting a director who was so passionate about the project and, um, and, and just to, the, that energy was, was, uh, it was wonderful and, and, um, and I, and I, again, like the, I thought it was really an interesting role, something I hadn't played before and, um, and also I, I found it, the, the, it was a real challenge to kind of create that relationship and to make it um, interesting. It, it is tough, you know, it's, it's a very difficult relationship and it could have easily been uh, just him being a predator, um, but you got to follow this for an hour and a half. So, uh, well, we all found that it was very important to, to layer it and make it nuanced and interesting and, uh, and, 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 and to give it uh, some energy, that, that relationship. It was kind of inspired actually by the fact that the graphic novel is a bit of a hybrid. The graphic novel isn't a traditional graphic novel. It's written as a diary with comic book elements in it. And she had been so innovative in her s telling of this, the book in that way. And I really always envisioned therefore the, the film to also be multimedia and to incorporate, she is this comic book artist. It's set in the backdrop where the, the underground comic book movement is happening in San Francisco. Um, and so, trying to, in a really visual way, show her talent and what's happening to her artistically by incorporating animation was really important. The challenge was the prep, getting to day one, you know, getting to, um, in, in, in carving that out and just, you know, figuring out what, what this relationship really was all about and, um, and also to make that arc interesting and to, um, in, in many ways, I think Monroe, even though he's much older than many, is the teenage boy himself, especially in definitely in certain certain moments where they where that it was important that that connection was real, and and almost deeper than the connection he has with his girlfriend Minnie's mother, um, and in 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 many ways they're quite similar Monroe and Minnie, uh, in because she can be very precocious but also very very young, almost a child. And I think he has that quality as well, where he he's, uh, he he, he, he you know, loses himself in this relationship, and then he pulls himself out of it. And um, it, it was important, like I said, to to not have Minnie be the victim, and him like yeah. for an hour and a half just preying on her. I think that's one of the most important things about doing this movie is that there aren't really any films out there that tackle female sexuality, especially at the age of fifteen. Um, like a lot of teenage girl characters are incredibly 2D. You know, like you're either kind of the virgin waiting for Prince Charming to come and like sweep you off your feet, or if you have loads of sex, you're a slut. Like <laughs> there's no in between. Yeah, it was so wonderful to feel like I was going home to make my first movie. It was, um, I really connected to the book being set in, in San Francisco, obviously growing up there, and it's a really specific culture in the Bay Area. Um, the 60s still resonates throughout the whole area. But um, also, we got to just make it a total family affair. <laughs> uh, my parents were on set all the time watching us shoot. My 
my sister-in-law was our costume designer and did a beautiful job with the costumes. My brother composed the music for the movie. Um, we got to really call on the resources of our community there in the Bay Area. And that felt good because this was a labor of love. So bringing on more people who really loved this story and understood it was, it was great.